cardboard. It's everywhere. It's cheap. And you can make almost anything with it. Anything? Can you make furniture out of cardboard? Hi everyone, this is Alejo and welcome back to Alejo Lab. Today I'm going to show you how I did a mini bookshelf with cardboard for my daughter two years ago and how well it is holding today. And a bonus cardboard castle at the end. But before we continue, let me ask you something. What's the weirdest thing have you ever done with cardboard? Let me know in the comments. And now it's time for the montage. Here we are, two, three years later, and the bookshelf is still in use. Let's go um, have a closer look. First and foremost, 
The overall bookshelf is holding well and the structure is still in one piece. My wife and I made this bookshelf while living in a different house and it survived the move crammed into a van for a thousand kilometers. Here are some close-ups where we can see the most damaged parts are the feet. It makes sense since they are supporting all the weight from the books and toddlers that decide to climb on top of the bookshelf. We could have avoided this by creating the feet in another way. The cardboard we use has a honeycomb structure that is quite strong in one direction, but we use it the other direction, so we are losing most of the strength. The other kind of damage is mostly peeled off paper or paint, and it's not that problematic since I can go over it and fix it with some glue and more paint. This one is a bigger dent, because something big fell on top of the shelf. It was something heavy, I don't remember, maybe a chair, but as you can see it survived the heat. Now talking about liquids, the bottom shelf may have suffered from pee while my daughter was still potty training, but it could be cleaned properly and there was no trace of it afterwards. The top shelf has seen spilled water multiple times, but it's doing okay except for this part here, which I'm not really sure this was made because of water damage. It seems to me that the pine here cracked because of some other reason, it may be related to the PVA glue and paper used for this slit. All these bumps, they do look like moisture reach the cardboard, but this appeared almost right after finishing the bookshelf, so maybe it was already trapped into the cardboard or it wasn't completely clean when we painted over it. Well, not so bad for a cardboard bookshelf. And yeah, we are still happy with how this turned out. This probably have two or three more years worth of use. There you go. Can you make furniture with cardboard? Yes, you can. Can you make clothes with cardboard? Yes. Can you make anything with cardboard? Of course, it's cardboard. It's, it's, it's a perfect material. You can just use scissors and glue and you can make anything. <laughs> and as you can see, the bookshelf is holding quite well. And sure, we can do some fixes, but yeah, I don't even care. I mean, it will last a couple more years. And if that's the case, I will do a new update on this bookshelf. <laughs> so. Subscribe if you think that's something you want to see and see you in two years or maybe maybe better see you in the next video. Sorry about the delay of this video, but I had to do this castle with cardboard for my daughter's school and we bring it to the to her class and all the kids were playing around a bit with it and taking photos.